this is Robert here with the Crack Hour Grand. I uh, just want to show you a few things that I'm going to be doing when pulling the plate out, before pulling the plate out, and uh, after the plate is out. And uh, actually, when we get to that point, physically doing it, I'm going to shoot another video so you can see that process taking place. But I want to go over this right now. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is uh, you can see here where I'm pointing. I'm going to take a measurement uh, to locate the plate relative to the piano. So um, I'll take a measurement for the height of the plate down from the top. And um, if I can get the camera turned here right, the width or distance between the edge of the case and the plate. And I'll do that on both, both ends of the piano. Um, here's something that will be more or less um, aesthetic, but uh, I'm going to file the tops of the bridge pins, clean those up. We'll also clean up the uh, um, this portion of the bridge uh, on the treble bridge and down here you can see on the bass bridge as well. Um, this uh, soundboard is in really good condition. Um, obviously, uh, we'll be replacing the soundboard decal. I don't know if you can see it there in the dust. It's kind of dusty. There it is. See the soundboard decal there? I'm going to be replacing that. Uh, it does not look like they're going to have to be any repairs done to the actual soundboard because there, there are no cracks, no separation from the bridges. Um, just looking this over, I, it's really a clean piano. Um, I don't see anything else that would present any types of issues. No bridge repairs going to be necessary because the bridge pins are in really good shape on the bridges. Um, I think that'll about do it. So what I what I will do is shoot another video when when the time comes to take the actual measurements and uh, and then pulling the plate. I have an engine hoist that I pull the plates with, so you'll get to see that process taking place. And then we'll take a look at the pin block, which is right beneath this uh, plate here. Matter of fact, I can show you looking up from the bottom. Oh, wrong way bottom side of the pin block here um, and this is the original block um, not quite sure yet if I'm gonna have to cut this out uh, the last one I did I don't recall having to cut it out but uh, the way it looks it may be mortised it may be mortised in like the Steinway um, or doweled in rather I should say like the Steinway, I have to be cut out. So we'll see. We'll get a get a chance to look at that uh, here shortly. But um, for those who are not the owner of this piano, uh, if you like the video, subscribe. If you got questions about it, ask questions. Maybe maybe if you're a rebuilder or technician and and you're wondering about something that uh, that's going on here, uh, shoot me a question over on um, right below the video. Um, I'll have plenty of pictures posted on the website of this piano. I've already posted an intro. Um, and uh, that'll do it for now. Uh, we'll see you again soon.